Oh yeah, let me show you something funny. It's just fun to do this. This is how I will charge it, so let's actually try it. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is how I will actually charge my massive DIY mega power bank. So let's get it. By the way, all the DIY projects right here are watching them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to max. So let me try to be back with a sweet, sweet video. Now the last vlogs were quite awesome. These are just the last steps. It's basically done. The project is done and it feels amazing. If you want to see me getting happy, I guess, then check out the last vlog in which I tested the box for the first time with the inverter and I powered my soldering iron completely mobile, not connected to the grid whatsoever. But the question now is how will I actually charge this box? So theoretically this should be straightforward and simple as well, just like connecting the BMS. It was actually easy but you know, you never know, you, you know you never know. Apparently, thanks to the BMS, I can just charge it through the BMS. This is the, you know, here is the wiring diagram and basically on the same thing, on the same connector on this one. I should just be able to connect a power supply that will deliver 29.4 volts and yeah this one will deliver 2 amps so I just got this a few days ago from China paid like 9 euros oh it's from Litokala as well that is funny the batteries are from Litokala as well if you want to know more about the batteries check out this vlog right here separate vlog just about the batteries very important stuff this came with the wall, well the, I was just thinking I could just plug this one in here and then charge it but that's not working like, yeah I'm stupid. So yeah, this will come in with the plug-in power connector, wall, wall adapter and also with uh, this thing right here. Uh, and yeah, I need to remove it so let's get it over with. Boom, because I need, I obviously need to, yeah I, that's weird, it's giving me power so this would actually need a female connector but I actually need a male connector so that's kind of weird. Let me just solder this XT60 connector to it and I will see in a bit. Look at them freaking thin wires. I was like, is this a joke? You can't be serious. These are so thin, it's not even funny. But yeah, maybe this is just enough. Oh yeah, let me show you something funny. You will need a metal plate or something like that that will absorb the heat fast. And you take this, apply the glue. You can already do this on all sides. I will actually apply a lot of glue for this one and you just put it on the freaking plate. Oh my god, this will take a bit of time until you will be able to flip it, yeah, like that. And this way you can create yourself a pretty neat looking custom transparent isolation thingy. I love it, oh my god, this is so funny. Okay, and there it is. This one didn't turn out that well, but you get the idea, right? You get the idea. It's so funny. It, it just, it's just fun to do this. So yeah, this is how I will charge it. So let's actually try it. Okay, this will light up green. This would be so stupid if this would fail right now at this very late stage of this project. Um, it turned red. How amazing is that? If this would then also turn green, I mean, oh my god, like how amazing would that be? Absolutely amazing, hello. Yeah, this is how we charge it, actually so straightforward and simple. This is, I mean, it was a lot of work to actually create all of this, but now that it's done, and you can actually create something like this way easier than I did it. It's just crazy, insane what I did, but it's actually not that hard. Life is pretty amazing. I'm stoked, I'm so hyped. In the next vlog, you can check it out right here, I will get to the cost breakdown. I will go through all the parts and how much I paid for every part and also include the inverter and the power brick, how much it cost me and if it was worth it. And closing thoughts, I will get to that in the vlog. After that, you can check it out right here. Was it worth it? Are there too many cables? Well, yes, there are too many cables, but as of now, totally worth it. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I guess I will see you there because that's it for this one. Just a shorty. I'm so happy. Oh my God, what the hell was that? Smash the like button the way <laughs> my brain just got smashed for whatever reason. Endorphins. Thank you, like crap. To never miss DIY projects and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>